Sharon from Vivid Days. We are going to attempt a sculpture today and this is my new box. It's massive. So this swallows up a four foot canvas. So I am going to try my biggest resin sculpture yet. And this one's going to be maybe a four layered or four piece sculpture. Now I get asked a lot. I've put my links in my description, but this is basically a shiny iridescent paper it comes from a shop over in the uk called paper chase i order it through amazon it releases the mold and you can use it over and over like that one there so i envisage having a very large piece one slightly smaller and interesting two little features that i'm going to attach i've mixed up 800 mils of mastercast resin that's just set in now um, and letting the bubbles rise i've added my super sparkle white to it because that's the mm, secret formula i'm going to work with two different colors so i have got my just for you uh, which is the open water blue then there's going to be the cobalt blue which is a metallic and a turquoise and they're both from resin eight and then i'm going to use the resin tin which is from Elchem. it's a beautiful one and i have also got some silver leaf that comes from amazon i get lots of sheets it's quite inexpensive if you buy it like that and then these are the um scatterings they're called clear wedding scatterings or if you put in crystals or gems table scatterings they'll come up you get lots of different sizes these are the ones that i prefer each to their own but i'm going to put my mask on now and just go with an organic flow and show you the stages if you do want a step-by-step -step tutorial about the whys and the hows please check out one of my videos i'll put it in the link now or click the top right hand corner and that will give you a breakdown but i'm going to put my mask on and immerse myself in this process be very fluid with it and hopefully we will come up with a tall vase this time that's my plans let's see how we go bye bye
it's Sharon from Vivid Days and we are here for review time. Now, this was a labour of love. You've got a second sculpture that you're about to see. And why was this a labour of love? Well, it's the biggest piece that I've worked on, but I also felt it wasn't finished. So I did the two outer layers and I did the centre piece, but I used that as a separate piece because it just wasn't big enough for inside. And then I come and made this centre piece separately and it still didn't feel right. It was disjointed, even though it was the same colours. So then I came and added these um, crystals, table scatterings, with the UV glue. And then UV resin, should I say. And then by not holding it right, I cracked across here you can see the little gems there but my uv grew uh uv resin acted as paste so i'm not selling this one this one's for me it's a prototype and it still didn't feel quite right and everybody's kept saying light it up put some led lights in but i'm just a little bit reluctant to fix them into my resin permanently because it's a personal choice you might like it and enjoy it without the lights you might want to add them in now because this is going to be for my home and it's going on my one of my cabinets i have put two lots of lcd lights on there like mini fairy lights and they are battery operated and they are hidden under here so i will show you now with it off so there's two of them and i've got these big crystals or big table scatterings if only we could afford crystals like this they're just covering them so i'm just going to take it out now oh, <laughs> on my lazy scissors turning around so i'll just leave it like that for now so somebody might choose to have it without now none of this is glued in or resin in so uh for a couple of places like there i've just put a little bit of sellotape don't stress it's not marking it or anything like that it's just to hold it in place a little bit mainly while I was filming, but also to look at possibilities. Now, maybe one day I'll be brave and I'll add um, it in permanently, but not at the minute, but I think it is a stunning piece now. Now I feel it's completed. And uh, there's a certain place that I think that it looks at its best is that way here. And I think it's because it's opening up. So it's either like ocean splashing or water splashing or a flower opening up and i love this crusted uh, a lot of money gone into this by the way uh, when i think about the costs of the resin itself and then these crystal uh, table scatterings i mean they're 10 pound a pop and i've gone through two bags for that so there's 20 pound just there let alone the resin the thing i do differently as well i use some because i didn't have enough crystals on this i use some glass now oops look at my nails sorry I've been busy decorating so i've not had time to look after myself it's been decorating wallpapering the house christmas tree up getting ready for any orders that people have put in for me and the last thing has been to look after myself so i am now going to do that there a bit of paper to come off there i'm going to do that now next but um I'm going to put my lights back on. <laughs> Remember, thumbs up, subscribe, share. Comments are always welcome. Let me know what you think to this. Um, I'll, I'll get the table scatterings back. <laughs> a minute, so it's a mess in the middle. But I'd love to know your thoughts. Um, like, Do you like the addition of the light? The light's off as well. So it holds it. It gives a lot. I mean, I've put two of these uh, fairy lights in. I will put the... Uh, attachments uh, from Amazon in my link. They're basically just Christmas lights. I would have for or firefly lights as they call them. And I would imagine when it's not Christmas, they might be a little bit cheaper. But these were uh, two pound ninety nine. But look, that's going to give a very nice glow into my cabinet. So you could choose to have them permanently in. You could choose to have a bit of UV resin and stick them where you want. I just want to be able to swap them around and interchange them and i might even change my mind but there's certain things where i've been able to just slip it down in between gaps so that there's not much wire showing there's a little bit but not a lot um but overall i think it's a winner winner chicken dinner but visit my etsy store there might be some treasures there that you want to purchase join my facebook group should you want to showcase any of your creative mediums it's a really supportive group there 
uh, and it gives you the ability to showcase your art with other people or creations and let me know is this a win is this a fail where would you have stopped would you have stopped with the first layer would you have stopped with the second and would you have stopped uh, before you put the diamonds on and then the lights just let me know i'm curious to know but what i'm going to do now is show you the second sculpture which was originally going to be the centerpiece and i really enjoy this next one it's like very abstract but we'll bring you in and we'll show you that